Well, we got a maintenance on this one today. Finishing off the week with some easy stuff. But, I mean, you, that's just that's just crazy what that coil cleaner is doing to the system. Jacob sent, said since I took his his thunder on the last coil cleaning, he wanted to do this one and asked me to put it on YouTube. So we're going we're gonna to put this one on YouTube. Let that unit breathe. I mean, it's, it's true, man. If the unit can't breathe, it's really not going to work right. That's why, I'm, you know, maintenance is important on it. Uh, working on a three-ton train package unit here. Gas pack. I This thing has no warranties left on it. 2013 is 10 years ago. Did you get that evaporator coil? Yeah, just hit it. That one wasn't as bad. Oh no, this side over here was the worst. No, I, I meant the evaporator coil itself. I mean, you can still see come some of the dirt and stuff just coming down, but for the most part, as far as it being caked up, it really wasn't that bad. That was the new Calgon New Bright you got out the truck, wasn't it? Huh? The blue? Yeah, and I also put some yellow in it as well, the Viper. Oh, the Viper Pulse Clear, yeah. That's real good on micro channels, but I mean, as we've experienced, we don't get much luck out of it on whether either the spine coils like these or the regular uh, fin ones. But it is just eating. This looks like a whole completely different coil. Now we are running a little bit behind today. Um, normally we would take the top off and go from in there, but I'm not gonna lie, it's Friday. There isn't even a tenant here. And it's still not even truly AC season yet. So just for right now, this, this is fine in my books. My books. Somebody will probably tell me I'm a hack for it. I don't know, but this it just looks ridiculously different. Whew, so glad I got that coil gun, even though Chad advised not to. Said, oh yeah, water water just does fine. Water will do fine. I don't think this is your favorite part of the job, ain't it? Oh yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of therapeutic. To see all the bubbles and everything on it, just just pull the dirt out. Ow, my elbow. Ooh wee. Let's see that evaporator cool. I mean, it, get, it looks a little better. Should strip a little bit of that grime away and stuff, but as soon as he's done with that, take apart that compartment, get to cleaning the flame sensor, uh, check and see what kind of igniter, ignition source it's using, spark igniter, uh, hot surface. So, I'm trying to hurry up. It's Friday. You want to go home yet, Jacob? We still got calls. <laughs> We're gonna try and get up some of these cobwebs, spider webs, and everything. Clean out the induced draft motor port for the pressure switch. Test that capacitor. I'll, I'm gonna ohm out the contactor coil, make sure it's okay. Control board doesn't look very new and doesn't look to have any visual burnouts on it or anything. Should be good. We got a spark igniter for this one. And a flame sensor right there. So we'll go ahead and get this all looking better. See if we can figure it out. Ah, turned out to definitely just be a dirty flame sensor. Um, I cleaned it with, I wanted to try this out, I saw it in the supply house. I cleaned it with this 
I think it's the Subco. I don't think it's necessarily Subco Trade Fox, but it's a Subco. Uh, it's supposedly got these little barbed wire teeth. I, I, don't, I don't even understand exactly the material in there, but I, I can say I've used it on some flame sensors. It's gotten the job done. Other flame sensors I've had to clean more aggressively. Um, and this just happened to be one of those times where just this didn't cut it, so had to use good old scratchy paper. But now we got an issue with this blower motor. So we gotta try to figure out why it's doing all this rattling. Well, I can definitely say I've never seen something like this. The whole bracket is undone. And so if you go to shake it, like what the heck? The bolt is on that one. There's a bolt there. And one. There's one back there. We're gonna have to take this out. And I wonder if I can see the fan blades on video. Let me do it this way. Turn the flash on. Ah, I'll look back at that and see if they're bad. But <sighs> dude, this is a vacant, and we still got other people with actually no heat. We gotta go check on. sad part is I don't even have anything that could truly help keep that down on the truck right now I mean that's just that's just crazy it's not down here on the ground nope cool well someone didn't tighten it all the way down and thankfully it didn't get too lost because it was just sitting in between the, the squirrel cage I have never seen that before so we're gonna get this all tied back up and get it going so we can get on up out of here to a customer that really needs us to give him heat for the weekend. Yeah, that, that still didn't work. It's not shaking as violent now, but it's still shaking violently. Um, and I checked back on the video, the fan blades aren't really that bad. Um, amp draws a little bit weird so to speak but we're just i'm gonna quote them out for a new scroll cage i think the scroll cage is out of balance since the whole thing's been running you know so on three bolts and call train and get this quoted out for some work let's let's hurry up i'm ready to go